Look at this view right here. We are, um, let's see, where are we? We are north of Lake Mead on a highway that goes towards the Hoover Dam. And uh, we're just over at a rest stop. Um, but I'm loving this uh, gorgeous, gorgeous scenery around here. Today's gonna be an exciting day. We're gonna try and find a hot spring, three mile uh, hike. Uh, but first, a little laundry and uh, got stuff at the store. It is uh, time to send these uh, gifts out. If you recall, a long time ago I did a giveaway. Uh, apologies for the long delay. Um, kind of got, honestly just forgot about it. Uh, so next time I do a giveaway, I think you'll do it a little bit differently where like maybe the most comments on the video where the giveaway is will win. Cause otherwise, you know what I'm saying, it, it was difficult. So, um, but yeah, bear with me. Um, but you guys are getting these gifts here. So we're taking a little uh, detour, blow me up. And there's a tank. Uh, it looks like uh, we're headed to some like insane gun place. A uh, bunch of military vehicles uh, <laughs> on his request. <laughs> Tell us yes. about your gun fascination. So I've always had like a fascination with firearms and um, guns. More and, and as I've gotten older, it's been more towards like the psychology behind it and um, places like America where it's, in, especially in red states where you can open carry and. Um, it's just really interesting to me, um, the culture behind it, and we've pulled up at this place called Pro Gun Vegas, and I assume <laughs> everybody here has guns, <laughs> and it's uh, just going to be a big gun shop. It's funny because it's really nothing all that bizarre for me, or new, oh there's some Humvees over here, but um, yeah, this is just America, guns everywhere. Um, but it's funny to see him, he's so like, <laughs> I guess how, that's how I would be if I was like in the English countryside and there was something we just don't different happening there. Yeah. We don't have, there isn't this culture in England. The only people that have guns are like farmers and or people that shoot targets really, but or hunters. But apart from that, and they're not like they are here either. The firearms we have. Oh great. Wow, a menu, machine guns. Yes. Look at these. Do you guys have a Tommy gun? Uh, we do. It's really? It's not listed on oh, yeah. there, uh -huh. but it's uh, $50 no. for 50 rounds. <laughs> Bro, you want to shoot a Tommy gun? Maybe. So, <laughs> so here we go. We're going out to the range. Aria is extremely excited to shoot an AK-47 today. Ooh, what the I'm gonna crash also, it. he's a terrible golf cart driver. I'm a fantastic golf cart driver. Look. Full speed, mate. Full speed. AK, you'll be shooting at the black, the red, or the vehicles all the way to the back. Cool. Don't shoot at the blue. You shoot the blue and you hit it, it's gonna come back at us. Right. I don't want to play dodge bullets. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> mm -hmm. Definitely not. About that. Right, whenever you're ready. Little high. All right. Fully automatic. Yeah. Yep. Whenever you're ready. Bloody hell. <laughs> Hit. Can I take you back to semi? Yeah. Thanks. Did I hit it? A little low. There you go. <laughs> Got it. That's it. That's it. Yes, sir. Wow. Well then. Well, what do you think? That was fun. <laughs> that was really fun. You went through those 20 bullets real quick. Yeah, wow. Thank you, Ian. No problem. You're <laughs> what an experience. Set, Great. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Woo. Welcome to America. Yeah. How'd it go? Really, it was really... It was, it's one of those things because I'm so I'm such an anti-gun advocate, right? Um, but it was an experience, right? And it was so so strange holding something that you know, especially that gun. That's kind of the reason I chose that one as well because it's the most mass-produced weapon in the world. Um, I know it's been responsible for so much damage, 
and it was just so interesting holding holding something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. And also just incredibly fun, also like without without being too philosophical. <laughs> right. It was very fun. Yeah. Um, it, it's definitely fun. Yeah. But that is definitely a machine made to kill people. It's not a hunting rifle. <laughs> All right, we stopped for a little laundry session in uh, Boulder City, over here, and uh, after that, we're gonna hit the hot springs. This is great. So we're trying to look for a hot springs right here, uh, Arizona hot springs, and we just kind of pulled over uh, to get our bearings. And it looks like we came across a thirsty traveler. Um, hey, do you have a full? Yeah. Can you grab a full one right here? Sweet. What, hi, yeah. I'm Jax. Hey. This this is Dan the Adventure Bus. Yeah. Boom. There you go. You want to? You got a water. You need anything else? Uh, no, I, just, I don't need this much. So well, no. take the whole thing. Oh, okay. it's our gift. Oh, hey, a fellow you. traveler. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Where? I've, I've done 48 states. Have you? Yeah. I'm trying to do 49. Uh, Alaska. In, in the bus. Yeah, yeah. exactly. What? Uh, how long have you been uh, on the bicycle? Three years. Three years straight? Yeah. That's well, incredible. I, I did uh, the East Coast. Uh huh. Then in the Midwest. Yep. And I'm doing the West. Awesome. So. So you've been three years continuously on the bike. Well, I, I took uh, time off uh, between it. Uh huh. Uh, when I went home. Yep. But uh, last year, no. Yeah, yeah. that's Can great. I give you guys What's that? Can I give you guys something? Oh, you guys oh we're got good. Daughters or anything? Daughters? No. 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 No, no, no sons, no daughters. Uh, because uh, when I was coming back, because I was going to ask these guys up here for water. Uh huh. Uh, I found this stuff on the road. Oh. You want to take a look at it? Ari has found his next victim, and when I mean victim, I mean uh, <laughs> subject for his photography. We're still pulled over here. Um, we're gonna we're gonna park just uh, two tenths of a mile. It's just kind of like right over there, and then we'll hit the hot springs. So when you come here, uh, there is a turnoff at mile marker four, and a gigantic parking lot, and plenty of uh, trails. And we're gonna go down there three miles to the river. So we started up there, and now we're walking up and over. There seems to be three ways to go, a little bit to the right, up and over, a little bit to the left. I have no idea if this is a correct way. There's only one way to find out though. So I don't think this is the official trail, the up and over in the center is uh, a bit more difficult, a bit more rocks. This trail to the right, I think, is the way to go. But I think this is the exact canyon where the spring is, so that'll save us a little cutting back and forth if we can make it. water back there. This is the main route. We are up the wash from the hot springs. So we are getting close. Chances are there's gonna be naked people. So I won't be able to, able to film, but also out of courtesy. Right here, my feet are standing in wetness and uh, water is just pouring out of the wall right here at the canyon wall. It's gonna be very hot, oh, watch out. It's gonna be oh too hot God. to the touch. There's also water seeping out of this and a giant pool, there's sandbags. We're gonna have to leave our bags up here or carry them through to the other uh, to the part where they're uh, gonna be you know safe or whatever all right I realize um, it's very dark and you won't be able to see much but I am in the uppermost spring it is the hottest it's right next to the source once you go into the lower springs you have to commit your body to it it's really it's it's very hot but it's it is very oh, oh my god it is very very incredible here oh my god I really think that hot springs are possibly my most favorite thing on planet Earth. Besides the ocean, 
waves to surf, mountains to snowboard, and um, you know those sorts of places. I really think Hot Springs is, is up there in my top three. It's there's nothing like it. Well, except your bathtub. Well, Hot Springs was amazing. Uh, how was your first time in the Hot Springs, sir? The hot Spring was bloody wicked. I was, I was saying to Jack, we, we got in and I was like, this is hot water from the earth. Yeah. And it was kind of blue, like really, really like, just fascinating. Yeah, it is. Um, and we met some really nice guys in there and it was, just, it was a good time all around. Good and time. you played the ukulele again. Yes. Let's go have a little peek at the Hot Spring. I'm using a, my cell phone rammed in my, whoops. I don't want to get my feet too wet, but um, anyways, up there you can see the pool, slightly, hmm? kind of, anyways, take my word for it, that's the source, and uh, <clears throat> it is now time to head back, see, this is the part that I don't look forward to, I love when the hot springs are in the middle of nowhere, but after you're soaking, your body's tired, you're dehydrated, and the last thing you want to do is hike three miles. But it's totally worth it because it cuts down on the crowds. Me and Ari are heading back, and we chose to go at nighttime a different way than the way that we came. And it's proving to be a little bit difficult because we just spent a half an hour going down what ended up being a dead end. And now we're on 25% with the, uh, the phone battery, and uh, it looks like this is gonna be much longer than the original way. Um, so, yeah, blessing, but you know, we'll live. Oh, we made it. My gosh. If you go to this hot spring <laughs> and you're coming up from the Colorado River, do not go on the, the path wrong way. to the right <laughs> because it's not right. It's wrong. What do you say, chappy bloke? I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> that was like, oh my gosh. When did we leave? I reckon Two or three hours ago? Like Two, two and a half, two and half hours. hours. Yeah. What should have taken us like 40, minutes. five minutes. Oh my God. I'm tired. We're out of water also. Right, we need water. Yeah. All right, so here's the update. We were over by uh, Vegas, um, Hoover Dam area. And we're gonna go back down almost to a place we, <laughs> we were yesterday, Kingman, Arizona, and stay there for the night. And then tomorrow, Grand Canyon, I think. I don't know, it's kind of up in the air. <laughs>